So 27th of November today, Downloader has been removed. Downloader is something that I consider to be an essential utility for your Amazon Fire TV devices, as well as your Android TVs. It's a great lightweight browser and gives you the ability to download all of your favorite applications or really download anything online. So why on earth would this now be removed from the Play Store? But as you can see on my Nvidia Shield Pro, I can go to the Play Store. I can go over to search. And this is when you know you've got a very popular application because as soon as I press D, as you can see, one of the applications it predicts I'm looking for is Downloader by AFTV News. The trouble is when I click on that, where are the results? So you can see now, guys, it's just not available anymore. Now, this was reported today about an hour ago from Elias, who's the creator of this application. And as you can see here, Downloader has been removed from the Play Store from a frivolous copyright claim from Warner Bros. Discovery. Now, the trouble with these copyright claims is there really seems to be no vetting or checking from Google or from YouTube. As soon as they get a request, they're more or less take down your video or take down your application. And you can see he's saying that once again, due to a false DMCA takedown request, the application has now been removed from the Play Store. And this time it's this person here who's the CEO of MarkScan in India who claims to represent Warner Bros. And again, as I've said, it's just ridiculous that with no evidence whatsoever, Google just approves these requests and then takes down your application. This happened once before back in May where it was some Israeli media companies. Again, it was a false claim. Elias had to follow the process and after he waited 10 days for the complainant to respond, his app was restored after being unavailable for 20 days. So that's a long time for your application to be unavailable. Obviously, if there's any revenue that you're earning through the application, all of that will be lost whilst your application is offline. And it's a big shame that Google just don't care about this and just take down your application. Now, as we know, Downloader is just a browser. It doesn't contain anything copyright. It doesn't come with any you know, movies or any TV shows or any kind of media content. It's simply a browser like Chrome, like Firefox, like Safari. So how can you say a browser infringes somebody else's copyright? It just doesn't make sense. And he's saying that it's absurd that Google would seem to make no effort to verify the copyright claim, which is made on his app, which is just a web browser. And it says that the portion of the takedown request we specify, you know, where is the copyright infringement taking place? Like what in this application infringes somebody's copyright? He's saying the person just wrote properties of Warner Bros. Discovery Inc. I mean, you know, how does anything in Downloader, when you download it, have anything to do with the properties of Warner Bros. Discovery Inc.? It doesn't. It's just a blank browser. It doesn't come with any favorites or anything, any shortcuts or anything like that. It's just simply a browser. So I feel bad that he has to go through this or because Google can't be bothered to properly verify these copyright claims. Now, if you are on an Android TV device and you're looking to get this back, one thing you can do is use an alternative browser like maybe TV Bro, which is still available on the Play Store. You can search for TV Bro, you can open that and you can use this browser to access my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Once you get to my site, just click on tutorials and inside tutorials, the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get this latest version of downloader for Android TV. Now, when you click on that, you can scroll down, just go to the bottom of this page and you'll find a direct link to download the latest version of downloader which I believe at the time of recording is version 1.4.5. So download that. You can once again use Downloader, use all of your favorite short codes and carry on using your device. I'll also leave a link to Elias' tweet. So if you guys are on Twitter, definitely do like it and retweet it just to spread the word. And hopefully they can restore his application as quick as possible. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video. Share it with the other people that you know that use Downloader in case other people are looking for it. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.